So today we're talking about Vintoy, and this is a very, very popular piece of software. It is really great for one particular thing that it allows somebody to do. Having multiple ISOs loaded onto a single USB and select which ISO you would like to load at installation time. And especially for somebody with a lot of systems like I've got, this actually can greatly, greatly ease the burden of having to burn multiple ISOs, having to track down which ISOs where, and also, of course, old things like burning CDs. This is just the, the way it should be done. Now, I did get a question the other day that spawned this, and I want to be very clear up front. I actually do not LARP as a security expert, not in any form or fashion. And I know that's quite popular to do out there. So this is not that. And actually, I do believe that the intentions and the efforts of the developer are probably just needing some augmentation in my perspective to help people understand what's going on and also to make the product a little bit better. This is an open source product, but is it? So we're going to take a look at some of this here today. So I got a question from somebody in my most recent video that I did where I was installing an operating system, Ubuntu 22 in this instance, for a massive AI rig. Great video. I really recommend you check that out. Also, take a chance. Hit subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content because that really helps a YouTuber uh, see and also stay engaged with what is important to the audience. And that is a great feedback mechanism. Of course, I will be reading your comments down below as well. So uh, Mr. Ego Can Turk said, uh, dude, you have so many systems. Why do you use Rufus instead of using Ventoy? And I was actually a former Ventoy user myself, and I do love Ventoy, and I want to get back to using Ventoy. And my hope here is there is somebody with some good DevOps chops, uh, specifically around build systems and GitHub that might be in this audience. This is a wildly talented audience that I have on my channel. And if you can assist with this process, I would really recommend you consider that because Vintoy is a great piece of software. And I said, yeah, I'm a former Vintoy user here. I have concerns I outlined in this issue on GitHub. Now, I actually outlined these issues on GitHub, uh, in, in my opinion, uh, quite responsibly. I didn't want to, you know, pile on the developer. So let's take a look at uh, what is going on. So Vintoy has a complex system of how it's being built. And as a result of that, this results in some blobs. And these blobs are essentially not easily accessible or reproducible with the way things currently are. So this is probably something that can be addressed. However, it's probably not trivial to be addressed. I, I said uh, when I discovered this, you know, regardless of recent events, uh, this was, of course, around the time, April 7th, that we had the XZ Utils, which, of course, that drama could have played out quite bad. XZ Utils, again, if you're not aware, was a very, very sophisticated, probably nation state backed uh, effort to induce backdoors into one of the most popular, highly integrated. Uh, pieces of the supply chain for many other pieces of software out there. That could have ended catastrophically. Luckily, somebody noticed SSH going a little bit slow for them, and they dug into it and found that, which we got lucky. There might have actually been a code error on the uh, team. I'm not going to call it a single person, but probably the team that was behind the XZ exploit uh, that they were hoping most likely to put onto as many computers as possible. And I said, regardless of the recent act events, and this is my stance still. It doesn't matter if it was around that event. It doesn't matter if it was not around that event. This should be addressed. Uh, Vintoy is an excellent concept and pretty solid execution. And every now and then there will be some issues because this is what probably presents one of the biggest problem points for the author is as new distros are coming out, they have to integrate them into Vintoy, and that entails a lot of extra effort sometimes when things break, especially with UEFI. I've had a couple of systems that have broken. Proxmox was the last one that I can remember, but it's not uncommon to have certain things break here and there with Vintoy, and it is a very actually complex amount of things that are operating under the hood to make Vintoy uh, capable uh, of operating. So uh, regardless of the execution, uh, the security should be a critical focus. And I firmly believe that security posture for anybody, whether you're a home labber, whether you're a business entity, 
whether you are of advanced, whether you are novice, should be something that you address up front rather than trying to address after the fact. Because after the fact, it's sometimes too late. So having this proactively addressed is something I would love to see. And as I've said before, if you are in the audience, you should consider if you can contribute to this repository, tossing them some love and everybody else, because boy, getting past the controversy around this would be a good thing to help advance Vintoy. And it seems like it's just build systems that are not uh, quite operating in a way that is able to produce reproducible builds for the blobs so that we can actually verify the hashes are what the hashes are. If the developer does or does not want to address this, hopefully some community members can contribute to alleviate this as a concern. For now, I think it's a good idea not to use Ventoy myself. And so that gets back to why I myself am not using Ventoy right now is because of this concern that I have around it. That doesn't mean there is something nefarious going on, but it does mean that there is a need for further security level work that is happening on the software itself to be addressed. And again, this is supposed to be open source software, so you can jump in and help out. They're asking for contributions for Vintoy, of course, and I recommend people consider, if you have discretionary income, uh, tossing some coin over to the Vintoy team. Also, if you have the talent to actually help out with the build systems to be able to re re create reproducible builds, that people would be able to have hashes and make sure that that is the actual binary that's going into your a USB boot drive, that would also possibly be the best thing that we could get out of this. And I'm not going to read through everything that uh, has been said on this post. I would urge you to read it with a big grain of salt. Like I said, I am not interested myself in uh, security LARPing. And I know there probably are a lot of people out there that are. This is really just more a call to action to can you step up and help out Ventoy? Because like I said, this is a super talented uh, audience and there is right now a good deal of drama and it's not for no reason. And so I do think that this should be addressed. I would love to go back to using Ventoy myself. Rufus, I don't have anything against. I think Rufus is pretty darn decent, uh, but I definitely would prefer to have all my ISOs living on a single USB that I can you know, keep on a key ring or keep on a lanyard and be able to find exactly what I need when I need it and not have to go to the internet every single time or have to go to my ISO store. Yes, I do store a freakish amount of ISOs. My machines are off right now, so hopefully the audio recording quality on this is better. Uh, it's always so hard. I mean, people criticize the audio quality on the channel a lot, and it's like, do you see what's going on here? This is like the most difficult audio environment to record while servers are running. But I, I thought this was an important one today. So I really do hope somebody out there does have the chops to jump into this on GitHub and help out the developer. Because again, I think Ventoy is a wonderful piece of software and I would like to go back to using it myself and not have a security concern in the back of my mind. I look forward to reading you guys' comments in the section below. And also, like I mentioned, thank you to everybody who is a channel member. Thank you to everybody who is a channel subscriber. And you can always hit me up at GoSpaceport on Twitter. You can also, if you are interested in supporting the channel, go to shop.digitalspaceport.com and channel members there get a 3% or a 5% discount on their purchases as well. I want to thank everybody who is a subscriber to this channel because every single like, every single share, and every single retweet, everything out there really helps grow the base and really does make me feel a little bit more assured of which direction I take certain pieces of content. Like I said, not a security channel. You probably won't see me talking about uh, heavy security concepts ever. So it's just not my wheelhouse. But definitely, uh, I do think there is a need to use systems that are as secure as possible in, in your home lab, in your enterprise, in your small to medium sized business. And just as a good security posture, I do believe that it is bad to try to react to a issue after the fact, because then you've got a problem. Better to address it up front. So hopefully this message out there can help us address this up front. Everybody have a great rest of your day. I'll check you guys out next time.